Go ahead. And, Go ahead. and these are on an ongoing basis, and there appears to have been complete resistance to encasing these reactors in concrete or to making some permanent solution to stopping this continued r release. Is that the case? That's correct. And uh, exactly when this disaster happened, when it started, uh, uh, Dr. Alexei Yablokov, one of the top radiation scientists in, in uh, Russia, who just completed a landmark book on Chernobyl, which is free on the Internet. If people want to um, read it, you should search for Yablokov, Y-A-B-L-A-K-O-V, plus Chernobyl, and you will find his book in English with illustrations on the Internet. And he's given this tremendous effort to humanity. He and other Russian scientists translated over 500 research papers to, that have never been read in the West uh, to be able to publish this book. Now, so, I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. I just want to say that from a logistical standpoint, we're about, uh, in this 60-minute segment, we have about uh, 17 minutes left okay. in the 60-minute segment. Okay. Um, the uh, the so the um, what what Dr. Am Yablokov uh, he was staying with Dr. Jeanette Sherman who reported this thirty five percent increase in infant mortality in uh, California and um, Seattle cities, but it was forty five percent in Philadelphia because they have the highest rainout of radioactive iodine in the U.S. in the Philadelphia drinking water. Now, um, Dr. Yablokov was in Washington, D.C., staying with Dr. Jeanette Sherman when uh, Fukushima happened. They had just finished publishing and editing the, um, the new version, uh, which is $10.00. And it, it's a wonderful book with the index in the back. It's just great. You can order it over the Internet. And <clears throat> um, they looked at each other and they said, Oh, my God, this is going to be many times worse than Chernobyl. Because Chernobyl was only one reactor that was about one-sixth the size of these reactors. And it was about... Um, uh, half the size. And these, uh, Fukushima had seven of these reactors, six or seven, I guess six, and they are much bigger than uh, the Chernobyl reactor, and the real problem is 600,000 spent fuel rods that are going to and already have released huge amounts of radiation. So, the um, the last thing I have to say about the Japan situation is that Nature magazine just published uh, a paper by Japanese scientists on the Fukushima disaster and contamination. And the, um, the Japanese scientists say there's no fallout legacy for Japan's farms despite prior contamination of food. How Orwellian can you be? And then they recommend... Um, <clears throat> uh, cleaning up or um, um, scraping up the soil and everything in, in these hot spots. So they're talking out of both sides of their mouths. It's more of that the, the academic uh, jokers that are doing this. It's just really crazy. So um, this lawsuit is very, very important. We hope to have um, public support. Um, and uh, people, uh, in future interviews, we will put uh, URLs and websites that people can go to. And also to watch the proceedings and the press conferences when um, there are Western scientists involved, that is in English. So people would be able to, to understand that. Now, um, the it's very clear that... Uh, that um, the, the strongest point that I made in my declaration to the court 
is that Fukushima nuclear power plant is still extremely unstable and unpredictable. They continue having these horrific uh, releases. They're not telling anyone. The only way I found out about the June 14th and the July 7th releases was from the TEPCO webcam that is on 24 hours online uh, at the Fukushima plant. So, um, the food contamination across the world, of course we're getting it. And uh, what's happened in uh, the U.S. is that air filters from cars in Seattle have been ha analyzed for hot particles. And yeah, in could I just jump in here? Yes. Uh, is this of sufficient importance that we should just do a third program on it? Because we're uh, now at about 10 minutes to the 60-minute mark on this. So, yes. Oh. Yes. Why don't we do that? Um, oh, okay, good. So I'm going to uh, stop this recording now.